Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. And this time, we have this really cool Mercedes Actros Giga Space. And uh, this thing is basically the ultimate heavy hauler. And uh, today we are taking these really, really heavy steel beams from Iceland to Scotland. And uh, we've got quite a journey ahead of us. So uh, let's jump in and see how this Gigaspace does. This is the heavy hauler, Mercedes. But before we jump in, I just want to say, if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed yet, please do so down below. It takes two seconds and you won't miss any of the videos that I bring out. All right, let's jump in. Okay, here we are inside the Mercedes and it's quite basic. It's uh, It's got some beacons, which we're probably gonna need. But um, yeah, it's pretty basic. It is literally here as a heavy hauler. Sounds good. Now we are starting out on a sort of cold morning in Iceland. Yeah. It's pulling this steel beam like a champ. Oh my god. So we are going to have to sort of think about this a little bit. Because we are going to need to take corners quite wide uh, in this thing. Because this is quite a, quite a large, large trailer we got here um, on this. No one come in, that's good. Yeah, this is quite a large trailer we've got on this thing. As we can see, let's go into this view. And it is heavy as well, which doesn't help when we are setting out in Iceland to begin with. <laughs> if you didn't see the other journey we took to Iceland, we went... We took another Mercedes, we took the uh, MP5 and uh, let's just get a picture of this actually quickly oh wow just look at that with that sky in the background that's very cool jump back in yeah if you didn't see the previous video that we did in Iceland uh, we took the new Mercedes MP5 out and we tackled the elements in that truck Whoa. that was not made for this uh, this type of load uh, we just took out our sign but yeah we basically went deep into Iceland with the new Mercedes MP5 and uh, it, it did really well. There was some icy roads, there was some slipping going on, um, but yeah, it, overall it handled it quite well. So we'll see how sort of good the uh, the Giga Space here, the Mercedes Giga Space does, the new Mercedes. And this truck is sort of all about heavy hauling sort of uh, capability. If you want to download any of the mods that I use, by the way, I will leave them all down in the description. So if you want to check those out. And we like this sky box is amazing. This will be Project Next Gen. Let's uh, put this sky box in, and it is amazing. really like Mercedes trucks they are some of my favorite just because the amount of options that you get with them for instance in in this game in your trip we can get mods for the mp1 2 3 4 and the new one 5 with the uh, the screens on the uh, that replace the wing mirrors and we get stuff like this um, 
you know, the really heavy hauler sort of giga space, mega space um, Mercedes. Now, I'll take this quite wide, I think, throw her into a first gear, try and. the road to our advantage. But yeah, we've sort of got a this guy went across. We sort of gotta make our way to the coast because we need to take a ferry from uh, here's the ferry it's telling us this way. All these corners we've got to take them like super slow. Gonna knock over any more signs. But yeah, we've uh, we've got to take a ferry to sort of the Faroe Islands and then over into Scotland. And this this is quite a decent climb here, actually, going up here. It's minus one apparently. This will be a test for the Mercedes. These steel beams are heavy. They are very heavy. It seems to be doing okay. Going up here, we are in seventh gear. Might need to change up. Let's try it. Like I say, this the wheel configuration on this and the engine size and the transmission is all geared towards sort of heavy hauling, heavy things, long distance, and this guy is going extremely slow in front of us because he is struggling. struggling in a sec if they don't continue moving. Come on guys, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That was steep. That was a steep climb. This mega Mercedes has done it. I think the Giga Space just refers to the cab sort of size in this. The mod is the Big Stars Mercedes. You can get it on the Steam Workshop. But uh, you can get a Mega Space and a Giga Space. Not gone for the Giga. And we're going downhill now. So we just need to be careful going downhill. We don't spin off. Wouldn't want these steel bars just sliding down the hill. Or these steel, uh, I think they're for the, they're like for a roof or something. They're like steel girders. But believe it or not, this is not the heaviest or the longest trailer you can get in this game. Um, there are insanely massive mega loads that you can get. I personally haven't seen them, but there are videos on YouTube of people taking them out, and they are tremendously big. <laughs> to the point where you have to sort of block off two roads just to turn. I mean, the wind turbines as well in this are quite quite large. They're quite quite big loads. But uh, I want to try and challenge myself with some more like big, insane um, sort of loads. And now that we've got this Mercedes, we can have a go at, you know, actually taking some of them. Because this seems to be pulling these heavy steel girders quite well. in, I think, eventually. Oh, we are. There we go. <laughs> 
on the wrong side of the road though. Hopefully we should be able to sort of get there quite quickly. In this. But we have got to go sort of quite far down um, Scotland. Oban is sort of it's sort of like middle-ish. on this is like 580 but uh yeah it seems to be pulling it quite well all them wheels helps we got another speed on this slope. It's okay. We're not. I don't think we're going to tip over. We will just take it a bit slower though. Don't want to go over the edge of here, do you? <laughs> Straight into the sea. Matt, that will be cold, that will. That's like sort of all see that and that'll be cold.
stop. Looks like it. Skybox is so nice on Project Next Gen. That's the graphics mod that I'm using in this. Is a Project Next Gen sort of updates the textures to sort of a 4K texture, and it and it updates the Skybox to make it look a bit better. And you do get some amazing Skyboxes. But I believe SSE are working on a new sort of graphical update this game so we'll have to see sort of what that what that looks like but I mean I haven't upgraded yet to 140 on the uh, Euro trip yet mainly because if I do most of the mods that I use will break <laughs> like pro mods and uh, and obviously project next gen will probably break as well so I sort of tend not to uh, not to update until all of the mods have updated as well, which they will eventually. That's why SSC released the betas, so that people can upgrade them, uh, can update their mods that they've made and put them on there ready. If you didn't know, I get all my mods from the Steam Workshop or at the SES form. You can go on the SES form and they've got like a mods page. Quite a nice way of getting them. I don't like these third party mod sites. You never know what you're getting, to be honest. tipper on the back which is quite cool. A load of aggregate in the back. I have seen I've said before but I get most of my ideas for what trucks to take out from the AI themselves. Do we have got a few of them tippers so maybe we'll take a few of them out at some point. But yeah I get most of my ideas from the AI, you know, just seeing different configurations driving around. You need to be in that lane as well. I mean, there's not really much traffic coming down. As we head through Inverness here. Let's go up there. 
which is quite nice. Might stop in there for a bit of a meal deal. What has he got there? Barrels. That's cool. That's a DAF. Is that a 105? Might be. Big Inverness Tesco there. We're sort of going towards Fort William there. This Mercedes has been absolutely amazing. Definitely using this one again. It's a really good heavy hauler. It's exactly what it's made for, really. Now I will try and get some bigger, bigger hauls going. Longer and bigger than this one as well. We'll try and get some really big stuff on the go. Point where we might need an escort <laughs> for some of it. A lot of this. The campsite usually just situated over there near Loch Ness. Loch Ness Shores. Staying there. And this is the road on the other side that goes all the way around it. Continuing to follow the. And I might just let this guy go so that I can use that side of the road. Is I gonna go? He's waiting for us, I think. Fine guy.
Okay, so we're coming to the end of our journey. Quite a long one actually this time. 40 minutes, give or take. Steel beams all the way from Iceland across the uh, sort of Arctic Ocean into Scotland and down to Oban here. But we haven't discovered this place yet, so that's another another one ticks off. Mercedes actually. This Giga Space Mercedes has done really well. It has hauled this heavy steel a long way and it has done it with ease. Let's try and take this a bit wider. Always oh, running to the front of that guy, but this park might be a bit difficult. Depends where they want it. We gotta go down here. I know that it was near the back, so we might have to reverse in here, which is fine. We can probably get away with. Can we get away with going down here and then reversing back in? not going to be able to do that by the looks things. So we might have to go out onto the road and back all the way in. Beacons on. Right. Let's back right onto the road. Can't really see what I'm doing here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go external camera like this because I really can't see what I'm doing. We need to go forward again. Trail is weird. It has got steerable axles at the very, very back there, near the trailer at the back of the trailer, which does help a little bit. But it can run away from you. clear. We might need to go forward a bit more, just so we get the angle. Alright, that seems good. I'm hoping this car behind us isn't... You should not have done that, bro. 
Oh, there's no point in beeping me, bro. I've got my hands. I've got my beacons on. All right, we have avoided him, but it's whether or not we can avoid him even further. Trying to get in here. Just go. Oh, we're past him. You'll have to wait, bro. Right. It's a complex operation. Free to go. There you go. will be better parking this up. Obviously this is a new sort of challenge for us. We've never really to take something this long park anything this long before. There's people in there. This is has got a hundred times more worse. trucks in here. And there's the delivery point there. So it was a good idea coming in backwards like this. I knew it was. Just trying to get past this guy. We'll get on the front. There's containers in the way as well. They don't make it easy, do they? You would expect to, you know, they know that these big pipes are coming, these big steel beams are coming in today. They make it a little bit easier for you to deliver them, but it's never the case. Either way, we've gone past the obstacles. Which is okay. As you can see, those wheels at the back turn. You might need to just reposition again in here. take that. We are dunzos. So where are we? There we are. So yeah, that was the Mercedes Giga Space and uh, it is an absolute tank when it comes to heavy hauling. Um, and we heavy hauled these massive steel beams from Iceland to Oban in Scotland 
and it was an absolute pleasure doing it. Definitely want to do more mega moves, mega uh, deliveries, and really push for abilities. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to comment down below, please do so. Also, if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed yet, please do so down below so you don't miss any of my Euro Truck content. Okay, if you want to download a mod, all the links are down there in the description, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.